Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Well, we're back here today, today to have a little play with our sweet and shabby Christmas handmade club, Shabby Art Boutique. So, as you remember, we started our process video um, last time and uh, created the folder, started the, the outside a little bit, and now we're going to work on the inside and some ephemera. Um, I will share with you as soon as I get all this cleared off my desk um, what the front of the folder looks like currently. I haven't got the back done. We'll do that very last probably because I need to keep sitting it on its back and hopefully not too much on its front. But it's it seems to be very sturdy and should be just fine. So welcome everyone. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And thanks to every one of you who come back faithfully and watch all my videos, comment, and like. I really appreciate each and every one of you because I wouldn't do this without you. So, all righty, you guys. Um, as you can see, I have a few pieces here that I've sort of pre-folded or pre-made, and we're going to decorate those today. So there's a little pile of those we're going to be working on. And um, let's see, I do want to use that. So I need to make kind of off to my side here. I need to, I'm going to move these aside. I don't think I need any of those right now. And then I have my little trays of goodies, of fussy cuts that I've gotten ready. And I have, of course, tons and tons of envelopes of fussy cuts that I have worked on for days and days. So anyway, this is the Christmas kit that we're working with today. So you know what you're, what we're dealing with. And this is the inside of our folder. I've kind of tentatively laid out a few bits and pieces. I am going to move them just off to the side a little bit. Um, I'm going to move this lace because I was kind of, this is what I was thinking of doing and show you the cover. So here's our beautiful little cover. Let me see what you're looking at. I don't know if you can, oh, there's a shadow from my arm. It is very cloudy today. It is Monday. You'll probably see this on Wednesday. I was not able to make one for you for Monday. I apologize. Haven't been well. Um, and as you can see, it's real pretty. It's got some really pretty little detail. I'm going to move it along. I don't know how much of it you could see. It is 3D as usual. I'm doing that on my outside folders now for something new and all these little sparkly bits okay so that's our cover now I have a pocket here and a pocket here I have already cut the tag for here and I do need to decorate that it's going to go in here and there'll be um, either oh a pretty little lace tab or sorry about the chair guys still having issues with it um, a pretty little lace tab or one of the tabs from the kit on the back side, I've also cut another tag specifically from the base pages to use, you know, back here. Um, it goes in here well, it's just me. <laughs> and then we have, you know, a double pocket there. We have our double pocket here and here. So basically on the front and the back, we have six pockets, right, to start. So it is a pocket folder um, because we have pockets here, here, here. So we have about 12 pockets at the moment. So depending upon what else we add to this will depend on, you know, I have lots of ephemera that's going to get tucked into all these lovely pockets. I'm also considering possibly um, a fold flappy things. Might do some flaps. Not sure if I'm going to leave it plain or flaps or if I'm going to decorate up here. That's all still to be determined. This is quite a, a good size project for us to do. Um, and if you'd like to come along with me, I think we're going to have some fun working on that. Um, I will tell you that it's Monday and um, it is Monday the, what are, what's our date today? The 18th, I believe. And I'm having my second COVID shot today. I had a really rough time with the first one. So fingers crossed everyone and happy thoughts and all the rest for no issues today. That would be great. So, but if all of a sudden you don't see any more videos, um, I'm going to try to do two today, but if you only see one or you don't see any more than two, um, it means I didn't do as well and I'm probably in bed, you know, waiting out my my um, shot <laughs> reaction. I I'm allergic to the, to the um, part of the shot that uh, is the dispenser part of it, not the actual shot itself. So we'll just see how I do. Um, I will be Benadryled up and all the rest. So I... I wasn't going to say anything, but then I thought I better, just in case you don't see videos, you'd be like, what the heck, what did she do, leave us? It's like, nope, I had to get it. I didn't develop enough antibiotic antibodies in order not to do it. I only developed half the antibodies I need in order to fight COVID. Should I get it? 
So now I have to get another shot. So darn it. So anyway, just getting you all caught up and we'll get busy and see what kind of creative things we can make today. Alrighty, didn't sleep much last night. <sighs> you know, worries. So, and it is a cloudy day. It suddenly rained out of nowhere last night. I told my husband like 20 times yesterday, it looks like it's going to rain, you know? It's windy and cold and it's getting dark and um, I think it's going to rain. He's like, no, no rain. Yeah, guess what? A couple hours later, all of a sudden we hear something and the lights popped off. We hit a, a breaker, um, a GFI switch that protects you when there's water somewhere and something outside tripped it. So all of a sudden our kitchen lights went out and we're like, what? We look out and it's pouring rain. So that's <laughs> our first big rain of the season. It wasn't huge, but it did rain for a couple hours, which we desperately needed. It put out some fires, clean up the air. It's gorgeous out, but the light's going to come and go. So we'll do the best we can with this. Now, for this folder, <clears throat> I'm debating between some lace across the whole entire bottom or possibly using, this is brand new. I just got it. So oh, I actually found the end. Or maybe crinkling up some lovely ribbon, like across the bottom of this one and maybe this one. And then leaving these as is, because these are pockets. Now let me, I have a ton of stuff tucked to my side. I am going to, excuse my elbow, I am going to just grab a card that we can play with here. So, um, let me put those over there. I just got stuff everywhere, you guys. And I try to be um, organized. Okay, so we pocket, pocket, pocket. So I think it's okay for one of these kind of pockets. We just won't be able to do much. Maybe put a little bit of lace or something on it. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to decorate it a ton, but we could do a little something, something with it, I think. So I just realized we're going to be working with these today, I think. So I'll probably have to get my punches out as well. But anyway, so the question is, do I lace the entire bottom I had thought about uh, doing some lace through the middle as well. Um, I'm not crazy about that red and white stripe, so I'm thinking about it here. So maybe what I would do, if I put that over that to just kind of hide the red and white ribbon, I don't know how that will close though, I'm a little concerned. I know I've used this in the middle before on a project. It's not my thinnest ribbon, so I may try to find something thinner there, but we'll see. That's still to be determined. We are definitely in a process video today. I am, I don't have any hard concrete plans. Now you guys just saw me with that. There it is. Um, but I do, you know, want to, I actually think I like this better than the lace. I, I think I don't want to put a ton of lace on the inside. It's like the question is though, do I want to go all the way across the bottom? No, I don't feel like the presence needed. I feel like this little plain piece needs a little bit of something, something. Same with this one. I like this particular color. This is from my scrap cabin. And um, this is dusty pink, which I think is just a really good color to pick up some of these um, dusty colors in here. I did get a really big um, order from her, um, from Erin. And I got some of the colors that I thought I would need in here, which I should probably pull these out now that it's, it came late in the day one day. And it was so, sorry about the crinkle, but we all like our sound, right? Um, I'm looking to see if this is going to work with anything. Uh, maybe, it's a bit dark. Uh, let's see. If I wanted to pick up this color, I would probably do something like that. I did get this minty color which goes very well right here. Um, this is Seamist. I think Seamist goes well with this. I think this um, Sunrose and, or is it Sunrise? Sunrose and this one is Wine. I think those all go. Uh, I did get this one thinking it would go, but I don't know. This is, hmm. Aqua, maybe. Okay, so I also got some reds, a couple of different reds that I thought I could possibly use. I'm thinking this one, maybe. Let's see, what colors are these? This is Basque. Yes, I got two of those. And then I got it. Oh, that's just too cherry, I don't think. Just plain rose is a little too bright for this kit. Um, no, okay, so that's that peach color. 
which I thought I ordered two of those, but I guess I did not. All right, well, plus there's a lot of other really great colors in here. So this, these are the colors that I have ordered for this. Um, I think I thought this would go with some of this darker blue in here. So we'll have to see what I'm actually gonna use. I'm gonna, I only need one of these, obviously. I don't know. See, we still have our back to decorate. So I will have to see. Oh, that's pretty with that. Kind of just depends. So I'm gonna set these all off to the side, but right now, I just wanted to show you my latest order from her. And how excited I was about that. Mm. Oh, I only need one of those. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that bag of goodies aside. I need to put them in, in, a, in a new jar. I gotta get a new jar for that. I did have some other orders, but I don't think I'll show you today just because I'm not going to do a very long video. So I um, thought I might do a couple short videos for you is what I might do today. So let's use our Fabri-Tac. I'm gonna turn that upside down for a second and get that one going. Um, I'm having a very slow start. It takes me a bit to get going because it is Monday morning for me. Probably Wednesday for you when you're going to see this. So we'll see how that's going to go. Uh, I'm going to need that. I usually start on this side. So let me see how this is going to go. I'm going to have it all over my nails, aren't I? Oh, well, I was going to redo them anyway. It's fine even if it takes off my polish. I have to go out and run some errands before my shot, so I gotta make a Dollar Tree run. I need to get a few supplies in case I'm stuck in the house for a bit. Um, I have to get some more of that phone tape. Boy, I went through that on the cover. Last few projects, it's been kind of crazy how much I've used. But, you know, they don't put that much on those Dollar Tree um, goodies, you know. Toby's hanging in there, doing okay. We'll see. I'm hoping they're going to think his heart's good when they go see him on Thursday of this week. He'll go back and get his little checkup, his heart checkup. So we'll see what they have to say about that. He has another appointment. My poor husband's been such a sweetheart and been taking him um, so that I could work. And uh, I think they're developing a nice little bond, those two. He's never been that, been a cat guy. He wasn't not one, he just really wasn't until we got the twins. And then from taking care of them from birth, and I mean, we they needed a lot of care, a lot, a lot, a lot of care. Um, he sort of got, you know, used to kitty cats and now he's been administering all of Toby's meds and taking him for his vet appointments and Bless my husband. So for a guy who really didn't said he didn't like cats, I, I think he's done very well. <laughs> and I think he loves the ones he has now. Would he want to get more cats? No, but my guess is this is it for us for cats. So we'll see here. So we're getting older and they get, they're very expensive. So especially these guys. Oof. We've always taken on the ones that needed a home or were ill and no one else wanted them and We've done our best to care for all of them that we've had over the years and deal with their medical issues and give them a good home. So, oh, you guys, this is just, I'm not, I normally do this with a glue stick and I probably should have this time, but I've started using the Fabri-Tac so much, I just now automatically reach for it. And this is pretty crinkly. I probably should have tried to straighten it out a little bit. I don't like to cut it off until I'm done. Yep, there went that. Oops, there went that nail polish. <laughs> oh, well. Like I said, I was going to redo them anyway. Going to look for some new polish when I go out today. I need some more. I'm out of my polish that I like here. I haven't had to do my nails in years and years. I have some, I have a lot of nail polish, but some of it's gotten pretty thick. All right. I think I like that. If I don't, I could yank it off. It, sometimes it'll come off if I give it a real quick minute here. So, I don't think I was planning to use that, was I? I don't know. I think I was going to do a little bundle here. And then, no, I don't think I was using that. I'm going to put that back on a tray. 
believe I was going to use some packages over here. And I think I was going to do this more central. Yeah, it was. And I was going to put a little word over there, I think. And possibly maybe a word on each side. Maybe like make a sentence or something. Or two words, not a sentence. But all right, let's get some ink going here. Let me find my... I got myself a new sponge because this project has used a lot of pink ink. I also um, use the re-inker on the pad so I would have enough sponge sugar is what I'm using right now. I have to tell you, these were quite fun. <laughs> spent the other night, oh gosh, Sunday afternoon, watching Hallmark movies, Christmas movies, and whatever movie they had out, fall movies, Christmas movies, um, on Sunday, and fussy cutting for a couple hours until I just, my neck and back were done from, you know, head down, and doing all this fussy cutting, which is fun. I love to fussy cut. I don't mind it. It just gets tedious sometimes after a while. After two hours of non-stop cutting, I was done. <laughs> I still probably have some more pieces to cut, but I mean, if I only have to cut one or two, that's not going to be bad, right? It'll be pretty easy. Um, I am thinking I want to put a little something behind those. So let me see. Do I want to add a little doily maybe? If I do it on one, I'm probably going to want to do it on two. So what do we want to do? Hmm. Hmm. Or I can use paper. I mean, oh, I do have pink doily. Let me see. I think these scissors might be too little. I think I need something a bit bigger. We kind of tuck this down into that. Well, that's kind of pink on pink. Not bad though. It's kind of pretty. I do like that. I think I think I'll use that. And maybe I could put the white one on this side. So they kind of mirror, but they're not identical. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I did, It's funny. I ran a whole bunch of the background pages so that I could rip them up and use them. But here I am going to use this instead. So I do want to recut this. It's crooked and it's causing an issue with lining it up. All right. Gosh, guys, I don't know. I'm going to try to stay away from some of that fabric tack today. It's been giving me a headache, so. I love working with it because everything sticks so good. It was meant for all the little pearls and it's exactly what it was designed for, so it's working very well. Oh, on fabric, though, I bet. You know, we can use it on paper. There's no reason we can't. I want to kind of tuck it into this. Hmm. That's going to bug me right there. And it's glued down hard. So. Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll kind of. I'll do that. I might want to sparkle it up a little. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do too much of that in here or not. Like I said, undecided. I don't always know what I want to do until I do it. Alrighty, let's give this a shot. 
All right, so we want to put that kind of in the middle. And then that spot that's bothered me, we'll just put this cute little sugar cookie in. I can always add um, stickles or glitter or whatever I want later. I don't have to have it right this minute. I don't feel like dragging that all out today, but I might. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I want to put something there. Um, what did I do with my I have baskets everywhere, all over my desk and around my desk? And kind of like Gail did the other day, I've got it all organized out. I just have to reach for it. It all can't be right in front of me, unfortunately. Hmm. I like that in that little hole. I'll build as I go. Probably add some pearls too at some point, but I want that there. That I know I want there. All right. I'm going to want three of those, probably either one or three. I might, you know, put a couple on here, maybe one up here and one over here. Let's see. This type of work for Christmas is very detailed. There's going to be a lot of detail. Let's see where do I want to put that. And maybe one up there. All right, let's put that there. Oh, I need more than that. This is what our glitter glue is designed for, is fussy stuff like this. Well, I hope you're all very well, doing okay. Everything's fine in your families. No one's sick. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff going around. Here at Sea It, a lot of my friends have it. It's crazy. We haven't been out in the world, so we're all Let's see how small do I need this? We don't have the immunities we used to have. Our immune systems are compromised temporarily. I don't know. Is that too much like that one? It is. I think I want to do something different. I mean, I love that. Don't get me wrong but I believe I want to do yeah, kind of want to do like there we go don't want anything behind well, I don't know I thought I did, but you know, I think I'm just I might just keep that simple what would I put behind there let me see I have the background pages. Everything's pretty pink. What do I have for blue? Oh, that's pretty. But now I'm not feeling like that particular set needs that. I am thinking, oh, yes. Wait, hold on. Um, sorry about my arm, you guys. I'm just trying to find places to put things, including my arm. I don't want to put it. I need both hands to reach where I'm reaching. Let's put some of these tools away. It's going to be a pain otherwise. Hmm. I've got all these lovely words, and I feel like I mean, I could have put like the word cookies or Mary or there's a lot of just cocoa. Well, we do have the cocoa over here. We could put cocoa there. Could put it that there. And then I do have the word presents. We could put presents there. I could go candy cane. Hmm. Let's cut out a... Let's get these sleeves up. Let's cut out some words. Let's cut out some words to play with. If we don't use them, we don't use them. It's okay. We'll put them in an envelope. It'll be fine. Make sure I'm only cutting out one set. So, surprisingly, we got our very first rain. Talk about shocked. There was nothing, and I mean nothing, on the weather reports, the radar... 
nothing on the TV, nothing on the apps about rain and boom. It, and I told my husband, my arthritis says it's going to rain. He's like, no, it's not. Hmm. 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 He was not right. My knee was correct. I had knee surgery at 16. I blew it out to snow skiing. And um, I know that's kind of obvious, huh? Or I have the big words. I made them in two sizes. Do do do. What do we have? Christmas tree cookies. Just plain Christmas. I like the word believe. Maybe we'll do believe on that one. Oh, I did not cut that very straight. Yikes. My goodness, what is going on there? I do like the word cocoa there. Maybe with a little paper behind it. Put that little something behind it. I don't think I'll do the obvious there. But then I've got two words over here and nothing over here. <sighs> hmm. Oh, yeah. I was reaching for something else. Oh, I'm such a dingbat. Um, excuse the arm. I got these little plates. I thought these might be cute on the pockets. I completely forgot about them. But, is there more than one there? Well, it's just a thick paper. Okay. So if I do that, Now, it depends what you want to use this for. Maybe you're going to use it for cards or you're going to use it for gifts. Or So there are words in here that you could use that for. Um, looking at all the words here. I mean, family could go up there. Festive, cookies, presents. I mean, if you wanted lists of things, maybe cooking recipes over here and you wanted to slip in. Um, um, lists for presents. So you could stick like that there and then put all of your lists and your receipts in there. And then maybe over here is all of your baking stuff. And there was one for, um, well, there's cocoa, but there's cookies or... Uh, do I have a cookie one? Mm hmm. Where's the cookie one? I think it'd be in the little ones. I've got two sizes going here, so that's getting kind of confusing, isn't it? Oh, there's see, there's a cookie one. So you could have presents and you could have cookies over here. And cookies could just represent all of your baking because I don't think there's a word baking here. I don't think there is. Holly's Carol stockings, Nani, Hmm. No, but I think cookies represents the baking aspect or cocoa or something like that that maybe you like. Um, so you could do that. So what I might do is I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I think I may be um, going to use this. I party, not party plan, a holiday plan every year. And I always make a little folio every year to put everything in and uh, kind of a planner folio that I put all of my receipts in, I write all my lists on, so I may use this for that. It's got some good, uh, I would have to maybe add, maybe on the sides, some flaps or tucks, because remember, we haven't cut this open yet, so we do have room to make that. 
um, to add tucks and flaps if we want, we can do that to this. So I am thinking that anyway, we could do that. I have to build up some ink on this pad. There isn't any, so I don't, I can't use what's left over on the pad because there just isn't any. sure this is I don't know if I ink this or if it just came I think she you know she added the edge and now I'm just kind of the pink edge and I'm just fussing it up a little bit all right so there we go oh look at the inspired idea we got that came out of nowhere I wasn't even working on that part of it I was working over here <laughs> oh well see you never know what's going to happen now, if I really wanted to, I could get out my little brads and I could put a brad on each of those and put it in and create a kind of a, a raised, you know, so it looks like that that's really on there with a brad. I have teeny, teeny, tiny, but I don't know if I have any pink or anything. Let me, I'm still here. I'm just running over to my... To see where my miniature brads are, I found my tiny little other things, but I'm looking to see where my itty bitties are. Hmm. I'm not finding my tiny, tiny ones. I don't know where I put those. I thought I had some little, tiny, tiny, tiny ones. I have an entire drawer of brads <laughs> and eyelids. Uh, I have some little flowers, but I don't think I have any of the colors I need. Well, maybe. Hot pink, maybe? My goodness, these are little. Oh, my fat little fingers are not going to fit in here. I mean, it would pick up some of the darker pinks. Those are really cute. Let's let's do that. Um, see if I can find two more. I don't think the blues I have would work. They're sort of a baby blue, which isn't quite the right, or powder blue. I just have to get out some more pink ones. Hmm. But I know I have some little small, every color of the rainbow, just round ones somewhere, but where that is, mm, I don't know. I may have left them in my sewing room with all of my scrapbooking stuff. That's probably where they are. So before I glue anything on, and I need my little pokey tool. Hmm. I don't know where my little sponge piece is. Oh, let's see if I have. I knocked a whole bunch of stuff down behind my bookcase. I have the, this. I made this out of foam and a piece of cork for stuff like this. But I have a little... Kind of a just and this is what I made this for is for stuff like this so that I wouldn't poke a hole in my finger or the table. I just put a piece of cork, I had a bunch of cork tiles. I don't know if I got these at Dollar Tree, if I got these at Michael's or where I got them. Um, I just took my cork tile and put it on a piece of uh, styrofoam that I got in packaging. We bought something. I don't know if it was a dishwasher or something. Oh boy. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to bend these one direction only. These are bigger than I thought. Can't open it because then it would show and I don't want to cut them off. So How cute is that, you guys? Super cute. Okay, let's do this over here. And, sorry, oh gosh. Fabric tack everywhere. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then we put the word presents in there and we put cookies over here. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Okay, I'm in it to win it now. 
All right, so let me get my, oh, sorry, I'm making noise now. Gotta get a wet one. When I can't feel my fingertips, then I get a little frustrated because I use my hands. I do a lot of stuff by feel, the way things feel to me. So if I can't feel my fingers because there's too much fabric tech on them, then we got to get that off there. All right, I have a dry one here somewhere. And that's the wet one to keep it off my desk and off my papers. Inevitably, if I don't get that in that little in that little bowl, it will end up, you know, landing on my papers and I'll have wet papers. Excuse me, while I get a drink. I've been told I must hydrate, so hydrating I am. All right, let's, let's get this on here. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, this poor map, I tell you, it was brand new. And I have been beating the living daylights out of it with all this glue and tape and, oh my goodness, ink and gosh knows what else. Poor thing. Good mat, though. I highly recommend these Arteza mats. I mean, I don't get anything. I'm not an affiliate. I don't, they didn't send it to me. I bought it on Amazon. So, but I can tell you I'm very happy with it. Now this one I might have to glue on with the uh, fabric tack because it is thicker and bulky. I don't know if this would work, but we could try it. I think it would be fun to put tags in here that you could list presents on or something you bought or you wanna buy. Fill up the pockets with, you know, potential gift ideas or gift cards or stick gift cards in there that you've bought for friends, I mean, for your family, you know, if you bought them for the kids or whatever. It's kind of where we go right now, just because, you know, it's hard to get out. It's hard for me to get out. And um, a couple of my grandkids are getting into the teenage years, and boy, do they love it when they get a, an Amazon card or they get a Visa card because they um, can go out and get what they want. And, and that's really what I want. If they want a present, I will happily, and I always give them presents, don't get me wrong. I have this um, fun idea that I do, which I'll have to show you. I have a, oh, it's about shoebox size box. It's called a gift, it's a gift box. And every year, Grandma fills it up with, Grandma and Papa fill it up, Grammy and Papa fill it up with fun things for the kids, even the teen, for the two teenagers. Um, and, you know, it used to be crayons and paper and whatever. So now, well, I still do that. I fill it up with candy and just fun little like snow globes, mini snow globes. I go to the Dollar Tree and I go to the Dollar Spot at Target and I get all kinds of goodies. Um, and I still get them, you know, both my girls are artists. So my two oldest granddaughters. So they get art supplies in there. Um, they get like crossword puzzle books, crossword puzzles, miniatures, just all small things. So I finish, fill it up because it's a good size box. It's not teeny tiny. So when we get it this year, I'll have to show you guys. And I just fill it up with all kinds of goodies. And so maybe this year I'll fill it up with some of the things that I make too. So because they both seem to love my work and want some of grandma's things that she does on her videos. So some of the things I make, I need to keep in mind that I want to send it on to them. So now, okay, we've got the plates for those, both of those on. And aren't those adorable? I could still put lace up here if I want to finish it more. I could add some little goodies. So now this is next. I'm still at a quandary for words, but now that I have those words up there, I don't think I want to put any down there. I think I'll just decorate this and maybe put some sparklies over there. That might work, some something sparkly. So let me glue these down. I think I inked these already, but this one seems to have this a lot of white around it. And I mean, I trimmed it really well, but um, let me see. This is how the poinsettia should go. Where'd that other one go? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so let me Yeah, I want it to be a cluster. 
right? So hopefully my head isn't in camera. <laughs> I don't know. My husband and I keep playing with our camera because we have a new setup and we, you know, we had the other one down perfect and then we started having all the issues and had to get all new stuff. And so we haven't quite got her dialed in yet. We're working on it. I know the other day I was like, oh, too low all day. You're missing half the picture. I totally apologize for that. But sometimes because he doesn't craft, um, I have to show him on the video. Oh, look, honey, look what happened. And then he's like, oh, no, you know, and does his best to fix it for me. So can't be too picky because I sure can't. I do my best to help him zero in, but uh, what you see prior to you turning on the camera and what you get once the camera comes on seems to be two different things. I don't know. So we're doing our best to give you a good quality video, but we are novices. All right. Now, that's going to stand up there. I'm going to stick a little extra glue in that corner. Fill her up with some glue. There we go. All right, let's see, what time is it? Just checking my time. It's getting close, guys, getting close. I didn't think we'd get very far today just because I'm having a warm up. So we'll do, there'll be another, probably another video after this for you guys to watch, probably on Friday. So this will be Wednesday and Friday is my guess. Um, I want something right here. Now I have all these fun jewel things that I forgot about when I was doing the cover. So let's see if one of these would work. Oh, that's kind of pretty. That one's kind of smashed, so maybe not that exact one, but one there. It's not super flat, but it doesn't need to be. I mean, there's going to be stuff in here, and I did leave room in the spine to have um, have that. Let's see. could do a bow. I have put a pearl or something in the middle of it. I don't think I'd be happy with it just plain. Hmm, brings the red in from over here, but it's kind of big. If it was a little bit smaller, I would love it. I love it, love it. Um, let me see what else. I, ooh. I have some really flat red roses. These babies are very flat. Kind of overtakes the presence, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, you guys, what could I do? What could I do? Let's see, what else have I got? I wish those bows were smaller. Oh wait, are these smaller? Just by a hair. Hmm, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold the phone. Stop the show. That would make it sit up too high, but ooh, that's cute. Oh, I guess it's too big, huh? I do have a smaller red bow, possibly. All right. Um, the one by itself doesn't work. I'll put these all back in their package later. I do have some gems. Let's see what else is in here. I'll put those all back in there later. I have some... I don't like the green around them. I do have some pretty sparklies. Some rhinestones here.
simple. What do I think, you guys? I don't know. I like everything. That's the problem. You know, when you don't like anything, it's easy. When you like everything, it's not. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> um, let me put some of these big rhinestones back. They're a little too big. Let me go for the little ones. There we go. I'm just going to keep it like that. I think that's pretty. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going back and forth, guys. It's unusual. Having one of those undecided days. Let me see if I have. I know what I want. I just don't want to know. Got a little pink bell. Oh, that might be cute. Put that on the edge of the bell. A bow on the bell with some sparkles. Um, gosh, you guys. I thought I cut out a bunch of, I know I did. Let's see, mm, I did. Mm. No, but I kept thinking I wanted those, but that wasn't it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Put those up there. I kind of like the idea of the bell in the corner up here. And then putting the flower on that. And then adding the red to pick up the red on the other side. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to, I want to try that. Let me ink this real quick. I'm going to run out of time, you guys. I need to go have some lunch. And then I will be back with my next video, which should be Friday. If I have time after lunch. Uh, because I do have to remember, I have my appointment this afternoon. So, let's see if I have room. Do I have room if I do that there? I wish this had a bit more... I think I have a darker, I do, I have a little bit darker ink here, which is the um, Victorian, oh, what is it, Victorian Velvet. I do have a little bit of that on this um, dauber here, so, oh, that made it stand up just a bit more. And what am I looking for, guys? Do, oh, I know. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a piece of dimensional tape on there. But no, I want to keep it flat. This is the only thing I want sticking up. Um, I feel like there needs to be like the tiniest amount of doily under there. I don't know why. Let me see. Okay, so let me cut that up a bit. Nope. I just gave myself more scraps. I don't have anything dark that would look good under there. I just don't have anything else, I think. So I guess I'll just glue it on and be done with it. <laughs> Running out of time. Procrastination much, Laura? Today was procrastination day. Sorry, guys. It happens. My creative process is very slow, as I have told you, oh gosh, so many times that my process is very, very slow. And I need to wind it up here, so I gotta go eat. It's probably part of my problem is I'm hungry. So let's get some, oh. 
no cats allowed in here, but you know what? I think it just sticks to my clothes and to me and go through lint rollers like crazy. All right, let's go up here. Hopefully I'm not mumbling too much. I need one more red jewel or another small one. Luckily, I can still move everything around for just a minute, so it hasn't glued down yet. All right, you guys. I'm I'm really liking this. I feel like we have some good things here. Um, you know, we have some... I don't want to put that in there that little girl up there of course these all need to be um inked and all that but i'm just i'm just throwing stuff in here what else have i got oh, i got santa there we go so you kind of get an idea of what what you could put in um these uh i want a little bigger card there's all kinds of so you get an idea of what we would do with this, how we would load it, and then we could do bigger. Do I have big cards? Do I have big? You know, I do. And I also have some really cute little, little boys and girls here that would be just adorable tucked in here. <laughs> cute, right? Super duper cute, 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 cute. Where are my big, aha, there we go. There's the big ones. <laughs> ah, here we go. What do we've got over here? Are these not cute or what? Oh my gosh, what an adorable little folder this is, right? Oh, you guys, oh goodness. Okay, so there you have it. I'm gonna clean up a few of my messes here. So hopefully you're not seeing a huge giant mess on your screen. And there you have it. That's the inside of our folder. I'm still thinking I might put just a tiny bit of lace. Maybe I can find a really thin lace here and here to dress it up. Maybe add a little few sparkles and pearls. So the next time you see it, hopefully the inside will be completely done. And we will be ready to, um, to work on all of the ephemera that's going to go inside these pockets. Because I just stuck those in there for now. But we're definitely going to fill it up with more ephemera there, front and back. And also, you know... If we're going to do anything up here, I'm debating on whether I'm going to do a mini journal or some notebooks or what I'm going to do. So anyway, I want to thank you all for coming along and watching and, and hanging out with me. And I will see you all very soon, you guys. Hugs and kisses. Love you. Bye-bye.